Epstein, the financier arrested on charges that he ran a sex trafficking ring, apparently killed himself today in prison. The FBI, the Department of Justice, and the New York City Medical Examiner's Office are all investigating his death. Mola Lange reports from Lower Manhattan. According to the Federal Bureau of Prisons, the 66-year-old multi-millionaire hedge fund manager Jeffrey Epstein was found unresponsive in his cell Saturday morning. He was taken to a Manhattan hospital but was pronounced dead. Epstein's apparent suicide comes one day after thousands of pages of documents in a civil case between Virginia Gouffre and Ghislaine Maxwell were unsealed. In the court documents, Gouffre, an alleged victim of Epstein, accused Maxwell, Epstein's ex-girlfriend, of directing her to have sex with several politically connected and financially powerful men when she was a minor. Paris prosecutor's office has confirmed to NBC News that a former modeling agent linked to Jeffrey Epstein was found dead in his prison cell this morning. Uh, the office says that it ha appeared uh, Jean-Luc Brunel, quote, died by suicide because he was discovered dead from hanging himself with his sheets. NBC's Raf Sanchez um, is joining us. This is astounding to hear, Raf, um, this breaking news, especially considering the fact that he died exactly the same way uh, Jeffrey Epstein did. Last night, Judge James Lynn issuing the protective order to keep the former Empire actor away from the general population of about 6,000 prisoners at the Cook County Jail to keep him safe. You're going to be in a cell by yourself. Veteran Chicago civil and criminal rights attorney Kevin O'Connor familiar with the process, which begins with a routine medical and mental health assessment by doctors at the CIRMAC Health Services located within the sprawling jail complex. And wherever he goes within the property, Smollett will see an enhanced level of security. Are you tired of hearing about him just yet? Well, Jesse Smollett was sentenced to 150 days in custody as a condition of his felony probation. And I don't think that we are going to go a day without hearing about Jesse Smollett because he wants to go home. So late Friday afternoon, lawyers for Jesse Smollett filed an emergency motion seeking Jesse Smollett's release from an Illinois jail. Now listen to these issues that they believe warrants an emergency release because according to Mr. Smollett and his attorneys, Mr. Smollett is special. And Mr. Smollett's release is demanded because he is claiming that the actor is in danger and the target of online threat. Well, if they're online, at least they're not in the jail, so they can't get him. It sounds like he's safer in custody. His attorney said that Mr. Smollett's siblings have received racist, homophobic, and menacing calls since his phone number was listed at the jail as an emergency contact. Well, I would change that phone number. Additionally, if somebody is threatening you, Mr. Smollett's brother, you need to contact the police and they need to be prosecuted. Nobody's going to condone that conduct whatsoever. And if you have nothing nice to say, just don't say anything at all, right? Well, Mr. Smollett's legal team is asking the uh, county to pause his 150-day sentence and grant him a bond. Uh, city, um, Mr. Smollett apparently is in protective custody at the request of his lawyers and officials said the actor's cell is being monitored 24-7. That's good, so that he cannot help hurt himself. Uh, all right, well, Jesse Smollett is a free man after his lawyer finally. Yes, uh, filed to appeal his hate crime conviction. They argue that jail is just too dangerous for the actor. Todd Pyro joins us with the details. Todd, apparently an appeals court got involved and now he's free for it, now. It happens like this, guys. Jesse Smollett walking free after serving just six days behind bars. A judge, like Steve said, releasing Smollett on a $150,000 bond, which he will not pay as long as he appears in court when summoned. His release comes after his lawyers appealed his December convictions, arguing he would end up serving his entire sentence before the completion of the entire process. Last week, the actor was sentenced to 150 days in jail and a $25,000 fine also required to pay the city of Chicago just over $120,000. As you remember, Smollett coming unhinged in the courtroom. Watch. I am not suicidal. I am not suicidal. And I am innocent. I could have said that I was guilty a long time ago. His lawyers also claiming his sentence was a threat to his life, saying, quote, Mr. Smollett has become the target of vicious threats in the social media forums, which no doubt reflects the hatred and wish for physical harm towards Smollett, which he may experience during incarceration. 
Any custodial setting poses a safety and health danger to the life of Mr. Smollett. Smollett spent the last four days of his sentence in a psych ward due to being, quote, at risk of self-harm, that according to his brother. The former Empire actor was convicted of five felony counts of disorderly conduct for lying to police when he staged a hate crime against himself in 2019. Rachel, Brian, and Steve, back to you. My head's spinning. I'm not really sure what happened.